All right, let's talk about tables, not the kind where you eat your dinner every day, the kind where you can input data, okay? So if I'm going to insert a table in a Word document, I'm going up to the Insert tab, and Table is conveniently right below it. So it has a picture of a table, just in case you can't read the word, click on it, and this huge, looks like a hundreds chart kinda, will pop up. And you see, as I mouse over, it will change how many cells or how many little squares my table will have. So I might need a table that's four or three cells wide and five cells deep. And it's okay if you don't get it right the first time because I'm gonna show you how to insert and delete cells, okay? So generally when you're taking data in a table, your information is gonna be on the top that delineates what you're talking about. So you might need to talk about a specific student or their name, and then you might be taking data on trials. So this might be trial one, this might be trial two, and what if I need a trial three? Well, logically, if it goes trial one, trial two, you would think trial three would be over here, right? Easy to fix. All I have to do is go where I want it to go, next to, right? So I'm going to put my mouse in this cell. Any of these cells would work, really. I'm going to right-click, and we see the option Insert, just like we went to insert the table in the first place. So I'm going to go to Insert, and I know that I want to insert to the right. So that means I'm going to insert a column to the right. When I click that, look, I have a new column where I can insert now Trial 3 or whatever I'm trying to do. Okay. Same thing if you need to add something below. So for example, if you're taking data on Carrie, Billy, Sonia, Will, I don't have room for Shalice, so I'm going to have to go and insert something below here. So easy again, I'm going to go into the cell, right click, insert, you're right, and then I have to insert a row below. Okay. If I had gone in here and I had clicked, let me undo that and show you. If I had right-clicked, insert, and put row above, now I have one in between Sonia and Will. I can easily undo that with the undo button. If I decide, oh, I really did want that, you're right, click the redo button. Um, so, it's easy to fill in data. Now all I have to do is click in the cell that I want, put my data, whatever it may be, and click it in there. Now, what if I say, oh, this is ugly. I wish that all of my data wasn't on the left. Easy to do. Highlight that table, and then we can go back to home, and you guessed it, we can align it, just like we would on any other Word document alignment. We can make all of our data bold. We can make it all underlined if we want, or if we want to just bold some of it, all we have to do is highlight and bold that. If we want to make our table bigger or smaller, we have these little boxes that we know when we talked about sizing pictures. All you have to do is click and drag to make it as big or as small as we want. And you notice that it has over here um, the four-pointed cursor. And when you click on that, that just means that it's going to highlight the entire thing. Now what, uh-oh, what if I accidentally delete it? You're right, all I have to do is click that undo button to get it back. Good luck, guys.